chapter 13. When Joshua was an old man, the Lord said to him, You are growing old, and much land remains to be conquered. The people still need to occupy the land of the Philistines and the Geshurites, territory that belongs to the Canaanites. This land extends from the stream of Shihor, which is on the boundary of Egypt, northward to the boundary of Ekron, and includes the five Philistine cities of Geza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron. The land of the Avites in the south also remains to be conquered. In the north, this area has not yet been conquered. All the land of the Canaanites, including Miara, which belongs to the Sidonians, stretching northward to Aphek on the border of the Amorites, the land of the Gibolites, and all the Lebanon mountain area to the east from Baal Gad beneath Mount Hermon to Libo Hamath, and all the hill country from Lebanon to Misrephoth Maim, including all the land of the Sidonians. I will drive these people out of the land for the Israelites, so be sure to give this land to Israel as a special possession, just as I have commanded you. Include all this territory as Israel's inheritance when you divide the land among the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. Half the tribe of Manasseh and the tribes of Reuben and Gad had already received their inheritance on the east side of the Jordan, for Moses, the servant of the Lord, had previously assigned this land to them. Their territory extended from Aroer on the edge of the Arnon Gorge, including the town in the middle of the gorge, to the plain beyond Mediba, as far as Dibon. It also included all the towns of King Sihon of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, and extended as far as the borders of Ammon. It included Gilead, the territory of the kingdoms of Geshur and Meacha, all of Mount Hermon, all of Bashan as far as Salika, and all the territory of King Og of Bashan, who had reigned in Ashtaroth and Idrei. King Og was the last of the Rephaites, for Moses had attacked them and driven them out. But the Israelites failed to drive out the people of Jeshur and Meacha, so they continued to live among the Israelites to this day. Moses did not assign any land to the tribe of Levi. Instead, as the Lord had promised them, their inheritance came from the offerings burned on the altar to the Lord, the God of Israel. Moses had assigned the following area to the families of the tribe of Reuben. Their territory extended from Aroer on the edge of the Arnon Gorge, including the town in the middle of the gorge, to the plain beyond Mediba. It included Heshbon and the other towns on the plain, Dibon, Bemoth Baal, Bethbal Mion, Jehaz, Kedemoth, Mephath, Kiriathaim, Sibma, Zireth, Shahar, on the hill above the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth. The land of Reuben also included all the towns of the plain and the entire kingdom of Sihon. Sihon was the Amorite king who had reigned in Heshbon and was killed by Moses, along with the chiefs of Midian, Evi, Rikim, Zur, Hur, and Reba, princes living in the region who were allied with Sihon. The Israelites also killed Belam the magician, the son of Beor. The Jordan River marked the western boundary for the tribe of Reuben. The towns and villages in this area were given as an inheritance to the families of the tribe of Reuben. Moses had assigned the following area to the families of the tribe of Gad. Their territory included Jazir, all the towns of Gilead, and half of the land of Ammon as far as the town of Aroer just west of Reba. It extended from Heshbon to Remoth Mispah and Betunim, and from Mahanaim to Lodebar. In the valley were Beth Haram, Beth Nimra, Sokoth, Zephon, and the rest of the kingdom of King Sihon of Heshbon. The Jordan River was the western border, extending as far north as the Sea of Galilee. The towns and villages in this area were given as an inheritance to the families of the tribe of Gad. Moses had assigned the following area to the families of the half-tribe of Manasseh. Their territory extended from Mahanaim, including all of Bashan, all the former kingdom of King Og, and the sixty towns of Jair and Bashan. It also included half of Gilead and King Og's royal cities of Ashtaroth and Idrei. All this was given to the descendants of Machir, who was Manasseh's son. These are the allotments Moses had made while he was on the plains of Moab across the Jordan River east of Jericho. But Moses gave no land to the tribe of Levi, for the Lord, the God of Israel, had promised to be their inheritance.